Hi guys, today I will be I will be comparing uh I will be comparing Android 4.4.4 4.4.2 probably versus Android 5 5.0 5.1.1 Lollipop. And I'm using the 5.1.1 example on my new on my recently bought Galaxy Grand Prime. So without further ado, let's go in. The lock screens have a difference, but I don't feel like going over the lock screens. Here are the home screens with my apps. So, uh, so the Grand Prime it has it has the the first difference is there's a different internet. There's a different internet. Uh, uh, app icon, but this one, it, it's, well, since this one, it's a Metro PCS variant of the event, so there is no internet on it, so it's the Metro web, so, so I'm just going to say, on Android 4.4.2, it's, it's like a lighter blue. So, next, uh, we'll be comparing sound. Yeah, you can hear the difference between the tapping sounds. Here are the notification sounds you will be greeted with on default. And... As for the ringtones... Uh, for Android 4.4, it's... I can't believe I'm playing the entire ringtone just for y'all to hear, to see the difference between Android 5.0, 5, 5, Android 5 versus Android 4. No, I'm not playing the whole ringtone, actually. And this is the one on the gram on the Android 5.1.1. Also, this is my alarm tone for my Galaxy Tab A. I will do a speed comparison between my Grand Prime and and my other phones, though. There's just something about the 2015 over the horizon. I just over, it's just overall an amazing ringtone. I love it. So, what's next? Uh, so. So we're just going to pretend the icons are not different. They didn't change. Let's just pretend that. <laughs> yeah. So So next YouTube is outdated on both of them for obvious reason. Wait. Wait a second. Oh. What happened to Google Meet? The original Google Meet. Is it is it really that outdated that the the icon is even old? Like that is absurd. But any, anyways, uh, okay, we're moving on to the icons because I, I I'm trying to make longer videos so I can make more money from YouTube. So first off, the settings icon. This one had a big change. Oh wait, let's also do the a different touch with version. Let's do a touch a different touch with version for the Android five point one point one. Okay, but I gotta plug this one, so I guess we're moving all the phones. Dang it! This one can't slide on the carpet. And my phone is nearly dying, so actually we got to make this video quick but long. So I'm going to plug in the tab A.
All right. So clouds putting up. Let's review the differences again. So I'm out of ideas. So never mind. Let's just turn this into a comparison, a three phone comparison. I right, tap a plus one tablet. Two phones plus one tablet. Oh well, I'm gonna shut all them down, and then I'm gonna do the speed test. All right. So I'm gonna need to put the camera down again so I can boot them all up at the same time. All right. Honestly, I I already know which one's gonna be in last place, but I don't know which one's gonna be in second place. And if I could, I would include my core prime in this video, but as I told you, there is no battery for it. Our, oh, Grand Prime was first, followed by the Galaxy Event, and as and as I expected for last place was the Galaxy Tab A. And, I, I'm i sorry, I just love the popping colors. I just love that lock screen. So, honestly, honestly the, I'm just gonna say the, Congrats for the first place and the Grand Prime for the Grand Prime. It got first place. Yeah, yeah. And next video, which will be probably in a few minutes, is it's going to be the the design, the design, like, differences in the Core Prime and the Grand Prime. So, so, these are the... The comparison actually no i'm not done with the video that's that's the difference i need to spot out so we're reviewing all the notification sounds sound and notifications sound and notifications sound all right i'm getting notifications from I'm getting notifications, which I obviously cannot show. So I'm just gonna, okay. You've gotta be kidding me. All right, ringtone and sound, sound. Um, nope, nope, nope. Notifications, notifications, notifications. All right, there are two different skylines. One is the piano version, one is the regular version. This is oh, this is 2014 Whistle, which is very nostalgic for me because I used to have a Tab 4. And here's the skyline piano version. And... Honestly, I'm I'm running out of ideas, so I'm just gonna rely on you viewers for for advice. Please, please try and comment. And and I'm not the type of person that that would beg for subscribers, so I'm gonna skip that part. But honestly, whenever I get comments, I feel very happy about it because I I feel like I've accomplished life <laughs> for some reason. So I'm running out of ideas. What should I do with all my phones? Should I mean, uh, for now, I'm just gonna align every single one of them, except for the my three laptops and Nintendo Switch. So, 
Bam, it ruins my other galaxy event. It's right here. Bam. Uh, my phone is like 6%, so I got to do this fast because there's not a charger nearby. I don't even know where one that I can use is. So. iPhone 5S and Galaxy Core Prime both dead, but for different reasons, of course. You know the reason for the Core Prime. And the iPhone 5S is literally dead because... Because I can't find a charger that I own for Because I live with siblings and it's hard to convince them for their charger. And my two Galaxy Advance, of course. Tab A, Grand Prime, and Core Prime. I already but what I would. But honestly, I'm just going to make another video. This one's going to be specifically about the Grand Prime. My opinions, because I'm switching from the iPhone as my backup phone, I'm going to be switching from the iPhone 5S to the Grand Prime. But I'm still going to use the iPhone 5S a lot. So, yeah, I'm going to make another video in a few minutes. So, yeah.